Ah, good morning guys, thanks for joining me. Been down the woods now since first light this morning and what I've been doing is just harvesting a little bit of pine resin. And with that being said, what I thought we could do is actually convert the resin into pine pitch and make one of these, a pitch stick. For those of you which may be unsure what pine pitch is, it's basically a natural heat mount glue. Now this stuff's been manufactured by our ancestors for thousands of years, traditionally used for strengthening bindings and lashings, waterproofing containers and that kind of thing. Knowing if you tend to get into primitive bushcraft, it's certainly worth learning about and certainly worth learning how to make. You know, for round camp, it's going to come in handy, any small repairs which we may do. And again, you know, carrying this means we're going to have a fire starter at hand at all times. Now when it comes to melting it down, you know, it's quite simple. You can either use a naked flame, you can put it by the side of a fire or you could actually dip it in boiling water. So what we got here, you know, is just a candle burning. You know, these kind of things are ideal, low heat. You know, this stuff is going to be as flammable as what it would be if it was pure resin. So it's just a case of just warming it up, just by rolling it over the candle here. And then once you have the pitch as soft as you need it, it's just a case of using it for whatever job's at hand. So the ingredients which we're going to need is obviously the pine resin and then also we're going to need a little bit of charcoal, this has just come out of the fire pit. Beeswax is an added optional, you know if you haven't got it you don't need to put it in and then just a little binding agent which you've got here which is a little bit of horse manure. Now everything's ready, I've just ground down that charcoal. Got a nice little bed of coals just at the bottom of the bush box here with a little bit of firewood just to keep it going. Like I said, you know, I'm not looking for a lot of heat. I could have used a little camping stove, but uh, you know, I do like how I can regulate the heat with this. And a lot of the time I'll probably just be uh, melting this just down over the coals. You know, like the last thing you want is actually to boil it. Get it setting on fire because the consensus is that uh, the pitch is never right, you know, once that's happened. Once you're happy that everything's melted down, you know the big lumpsy what we've got left are probably just a little bit of bark and that kind of thing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to sieve it, just get all the bits of rubbish out and we're just going to decant it just into another can. Once you've actually got the resin just to come through, what will happen is it will start to cool down and actually block up the gauze here. So what you can do then is just actually just reheat it just over the stove, which will just melt it down again just a little bit. Once you've done the initial first melt, what we've got left in this can here is pure resin. Now this can be stored indefinitely, and the beauty of it is once it's gone hard, you can just put the lid back on, keep it in your pack without any fear of it running out and going all over the contents. Now the beauty of it is you've got it to stand if you ever want to make any more pine pitch, medicinal salves, all that kind of thing. And then what we've got in here, in the tea strainer, in my opinion, is liquid gold. You know, this now is a little bit soft. But what we can do, just wait till it just, uh, just goes a little bit harder. And then we can roll it into the bowl. And then this becomes an awesome fire lighter. And then towards the end of the video, I'll just show you how that burns. So it's just a case now, we're just going to transfer this back onto the bush box. Just start melting a little bit of this down. And then we're going to start making the pine pitch. So now we've just transferred it back over and this is what we're going to use for the pine pitch. So it's just a case now just making sure that it's staying warm. Again, just not boiling it, we don't want it set on fire. 
And what we've got here now, this is just right. So, so we're going to do is add the charcoal and it's roughly, you know, the mix would be around about two to one, you know, but there's nothing scientific about it. So we're just going to pour just enough in and we're just going to stir it just so that we get the consistency and see what we think is right. And just take that off the heat now, just let things uh, just start to solidify just as they cool down. So we're just adding just a little bit of the dung in it now, just a little bit of a binding agent. Just making sure it's all thoroughly mixed, you know the colour's looking like it should do. Once it started to cool now, like it has done, I've just got a bit of a pine stick here. May as well just keep it all in the same kind of theme. So what we're going to do now is just stir it up like we were doing before. And it's just a case, just like you were dipping a candle, you just keep dipping it in, stirring it up, and just applying a layer by layer. Now if you want to spit on your fingers or just add just a little bit of water, you know this stuff is waterproof. So what I'm doing here, I'm just putting on a layer at a time, I've just got the bush box just burning down by the side here. Because the air temperature is quite cool, you know, it doesn't take too long for this actually to go hard. So what I'm doing is, like I say, just keeping it melted just down by the side of me here. And then once that, uh, that layer has gone hard there, we can then just dip it back in. And just repeat the process. Until we've just got the layers built up, you know, and you've got this, uh, you know, as big as you need it. Once you're happy with the general size and shape of the pitch stick, if you want to, you can just toast it over the flame and that'll just make it just look a little bit glossy on the outside, just making it a bit more attractive. And that's pretty much the pitch stick finished off. So we're just going to leave it for around about 30 minutes or so, you know, in this air temperature. Just make sure that it goes hard all the way through before we start using it. Everything's now cooled down and this is the final pitch stick. You know, it's looking nice good quality you know it's not too brittle that it's going to break and again you know if you're into primitive kind of bushcraft you know this is worthwhile carrying and certainly worth learning how to make you know whatever you're going to use super glue or epoxy you know this can certainly take its place in some applications but you know for repairing things like punches and tarps and that kind of thing you know it's certainly going to be invaluable plus also you're carrying a fire starter with you at all times and then just in the sieve here, this was the byproduct. I'll certainly carry this as a fire starter absolutely awesome and then just in the can a little bit of pure resin if you want to use it for medicinal purposes. So this byproduct, you know, it's probably the original wet fire. You know, it's waterproof and certainly burns for a long time. Okay, it was a little bit of faffing about, you know, filtering it out and that kind of thing. You know, but it was after a little bit of pure resin anyway. You know, and the byproduct's certainly worth the effort. So all you've got to do, just using a knife, or you can actually just snap it if you want to. You know, the warmer it gets, like in the summertime, you can actually pull pieces off. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut sections off, probably just an off. We're just going to light it with a naked flame because that's what it requires just to burn. And then we'll just see just how long this actually burns for. Well, that little fire starter wasn't too bad. It burned for about two or three minutes. I've still got half left here, which I'll pop in the fire kit in a second. And there we have it, just a little bit about pine pitch or pitch sticks, a nice simple bushcraft project. You know, certainly worth learning how to make, you know, whether you do use it as a glue or carry it as a fire starter. You know, depends on the situation, also depends on what you want to do with it. So like always, guys, I'll just leave say thanks a lot for you stopping by and watching the video, like always. Until next time, you take care, and I'll see you again.